So how would you like to give a live 360 walkthrough of your property to your clients and they'll be able to watch your walkthrough either on their phone, your desktop, or even in VR. And lots of great counter space, right? Yeah, so clean. And that window out to the bay, amazing. That's gonna really light Right? Yeah. In uh, this video, we're gonna look at a demo of Avatar, which is kind of like a 360 video conferencing tool, but it's more than that. So you just, <laughs> you, trust me, you just gotta see it. My name is Nick. I've written over 2,500 articles on 360 cameras and VR on my website, 360rumors.com. So if you wanna learn more about virtual tours, hit subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. So I'm here with Devin Copley. Um, he's with Avatour and they're delivering a service that I think is perfect for this unique time. So without further ado, here's Devin to talk more about Avatour. So, hey, Devin, Hi. nice to meet you. <laughs> Thanks for having me on, Mike. I, I yeah. was telling you earlier, I've been, been reading your uh, your stuff for many years now. And it's a pleasure <laughs> to actually That's finally an, connect. It's an honor. So um, <laughs> anyway, like, tell us more about, for those who haven't uh, been to your website, aren't familiar with Avatar at all, what yeah. is it and how does it differ from uh, other products like or services like live streaming or virtual tours? Sure. Um, so... Basically, our goal was to make it really, really easy, inexpensive, uh, and simple to bring a real-time, you know, 360 experience uh, anywhere in the world, such that you can talk to the people there. Um, right. So it's, in a way, it's it's more like a teleporter than it is like uh, a video conference. You know, you, okay. you put on a headset. And you literally feel like you're standing next to somebody elsewhere in the world, and you can talk to them in real time. And you know some of the things that well, oh, the reason it's different from a live stream, uh -huh. first of all, uh -huh. is that a live stream typically has anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes of latency. So mm. it's live, but it's not like a like a video conference, right? Right. It's hard to do a, a, a talk. You can't talk to someone, even if you have a phone with you. Right, because you're, right. you're well behind. You're, you're 30 <laughs> seconds too right. behind. There's no way to have a conversation. Right. And, um, you know, virtual tours usually are pre recorded, so there's right. no interaction at all, right? Right. And, um, and, and we just felt like there, needed, there, there had to be a way for this to work, and there, and there had to be value behind it. Um, right. There had to be something, something people would want. Um, so that's what we spent the last couple of years working on. And I think, you know, a couple of folks have tried similar things before, mm -hmm. but they were usually uh, one to one, or mm -hmm. else they were very low resolution, or else they were. I mean, they had one thing or another wrong with them. And what we've done is, I think, you know, put all the pieces together such that you know you can literally get you know a setup like this and click three buttons and you're live, and somebody can use a uh, an Oculus Go and put it oh, on wow. and type in you know a little code, and then they're there, right next wow. to you, talking to you, and you can talk to them. And I mean, it's, it's kind of magical, really, when you when you do it for the first time. It, it's, it's wow. and, okay. and that's another thing that was unique, I think, that we've done that, that no one else really has done, is that you can join either way. You, you know, you don't have to use a headset. You know, if, if people want to just join with a, with a web browser, mm -hmm. they can do that. And then it's quite similar to a video conference, except you have this 360 feed. Mm -hmm. um, but if you put on the headset, it's a, this profound experience of being there. But everybody can talk to each other. So you can join on the, on, the, on the browser or you can join in the headset. And everybody can talk to each other. They can talk to the host. They appear on the host's screen. Oh. And it's a, it's a way I, that everybody can have this sort of shared context of a real world place. Oh, and wow. Be able to get things done. So, so not only does it support multiple users at the same time, but they can also interact with each other, not just with the host. Is that right? Yes. yes wow. Right. I can go so far. Okay. I can, what I can do is show you the, um, uh, the web-based uh, sure. connection first, and then I can show you a video of the, um, okay. of the headset experience. Okay, great. So we'll just start from scratch here. So I'm going to turn on my Insta360. Okay. Cable. All right. And uh, turn on my... 
So you, it's connected by cable to your phone? It is, yeah. And it works and so for iOS app, and Android or just Android? Uh, with just Android so far, iOS is coming soon. Uh huh. Um, so we run the app on the phone, we launch the app. Uh huh. And um, it's going to log me in automatically. I told you three clicks, right? So yeah. that was one click. <laughs> Okay. Uh, all right. Now here's I've got some some sessions already set up. Mm -hmm. Two clicks. Okay. And now it can run a system test. There we see we're we're up and running. Okay. And uh, start session. Okay. See, oh. see, I see the link. Okay. So yeah. I click on that you link. Click on that. Okay. And then you just enter your name. This is not an authenticated session, so you can just enter your name. Okay. And this. What about the session ID? Just leave it as is. Yeah, I should say RTSSC, right? Okay. All right. So your session has started. So just click on join. Yeah. All right. So use use your mic microphone or camera. Allow. Yeah. So wait, you can also see me? I can. So I'm I'm Turn gonna appear camera. as like a small like video screen or something? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So if you turn on your camera you'll come up as a Oh, video I see myself. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, yeah, it's in 360. Look, okay, cool. Wow. Three clicks. Amazing. Can you hear me? Yep. I can hear you great. Wow. Okay. Great. Yep. Wow. So, so just so our see. viewers can understand, like, like right now I'm con using my mouse to control the 360 view, and I and when I when I see you're showing my very messy uh, <laughs> office to your uh, to your viewers here. <laughs> so I guess, I guess I have a small advantage, like uh, with, with the smaller view from the, my camera. But um, there's no when I'm when I'm seeing Devin and he's talking, there's no lag in what he's saying versus versus what when his lips moves or something. So it's uh. A, like very yeah, easy. The, the, the AV sync is is correct. Mm. There is, you know, there is a little bit of latency in the in the pipeline. It's about okay. one second right now. Okay. That wow, we're that's pretty good. Constantly working on getting uh -huh. lower, but it's uh -huh. it's low enough that um, that you can have a conversation. So I, I have several questions like about the equipment that you can use. So what cameras are compatible with Avatar? So we have. Integrations with the Insta360 One X mm -hmm. and the Ricoh Theta V and mm -hmm. Theta Z1. Oh, okay. Um, you can expect additional camera support from us uh, uh -huh. uh, over the course of this year as well. Uh, so, like th with the One X, do you have do you have stabilization? So we have uh, one level of stabilization, which is mm. the. Um, uh, s s horizon stabilization. So, so you can mm. hold it anyway, and the horizon stays level, which is obviously very important to keep people from getting sick. Um, mm -hmm. We don't yet have the full sort of AI-based stabilization that um, Insta has in their um, uh, their post pipeline, their post uh, processing pipeline. Got We're it. working with them on that, and uh, with any luck, we'll have some improvements uh, sh shortly. Nice. Okay, and do you anticipate um, compatibility with the Insta 360 One R as well? We're working on that right now. Um, we are waiting on some of the SDK um, uh, f functions that we need um, from Insta, um, but we expect we'll have that uh, quite soon as well. That's cool. All right. So um, now, the, what kind of the speed, internet speed, do you need? To make this work, they can this work with 4G yeah. or do you need Wi-Fi? Yeah, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. um, so the the maximum, well, we recommend 10 megabits of uplink and downlink uh, mm -hmm. capability. We actually use or we default to five megabits, mm -hmm. and we can function all the way down to about two megabits. And okay. the way we do that is by dropping the frame rate. So we, we maintain the visual quality, but we'll drop the frame rate even quite dramatically if we need to. Okay, so ev to even quality. in the super slow connection, it can be at least functional. And I, I'm assuming that even though you drop the frame rate on the video, the audio is normal. Yeah, that's exactly right. And, okay. and there's another thing that we do that's sort of related, which is... Um, also related to the uh, stabilization question that you made. One thing that we realized is that the um, 
uh, people don't get sick at a low frame rate. So we huh. have a mode that we call motion comfort mode where you can um, uh, choose that when the, ca when the camera moves, we drop the frame rate deliberately. And then when you put it down again, we go back to video. And oh, in fact, okay. I, I can show it to you if you'd like. So, okay. Um, here, this is in motion, right? So this is just standard, standard sure. motion. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to turn on the motion comfort mode. And okay. now oh. X, motion comfort. And you can see how it goes to sort of a slideshow. Right? That's interesting. I didn't, didn't yeah. anticipate that decreasing the frame rate would actually uh, make it more comfortable. It's You know, it's funny. It's I, such I, a simple solution, and I haven't yeah. really seen it before. But it, I, it I haven't either, work. either. When you do a yeah. live stream, I mean, a stream like this on Avatar, will it be recorded at the same time? Yes, we can do that optionally. Um, obviously, some customers don't want us to record anything or store sure. anything, so we don't sure. have to. But we can record the session for later reviewing as well. Oh, okay, great. Now, I also got to try hosting an avatar session, and it's extremely simple. It's actually simpler than live streaming. I just connected my One X to my phone using the USB cable, and then I launched the avatar app. Then I created a new session and added the emails of the invitees. Now, the audio for the feed will come from the phone connected to the One X, so you can even connect an external microphone to your phone to get clear audio that was really cool so you could actually i you could see everything in in vr and you could look around and i could see your icon i mean your avatar and as you turn around it showed your position in real time yeah that's really cool what's the maximum duration for each session um, it's really only limited by the by the battery life of the Insta One X, which uh -huh. um, tops out at about one one hour. Uh -huh. But um, you can swap, you can hot swap the battery, and we keep the session going. So the audio continues. Um, you can just when the when the camera dies, you can just pop in a new battery and resume, and you can keep talking while you're doing it. So we try to make it as easy as possible to keep going. The session doesn't yeah. end, even though the right the video feed temporarily does. Exactly, yeah, we get the, just the video feed from the camera. Got it, okay. So how, how much would it cost? And like, um, do you have any special offers for uh, our users? We do, yeah. Okay. So, so we, have a, um, we have two tiers. We have a, a professional tier, which is available on our website. You can buy with a credit card. Um, the annual price is uh, $500 a month for a session for the uh, subscription. Um, if you pay monthly, it's $600 a month. And uh, uh -huh. we have a special right now for, for your viewers that if um, you buy two months, you get a free kit. So you get the, um, the Insta360 Pro, or sorry, not Pro, the Insta360 One X, uh -huh. the live streaming cable, extra batteries, and all the stand and you know stuff that you need, the mount. Um, which is worth about six hundred dollars in and of itself. So wow, basically, get okay. get a month free. You get the gear, and um, you can be off and running for uh, twelve hundred dollars as a starting point. Nice. Okay. So I can't wait to share this with the rest of our readers so that they can see it and try it out for themselves. I know a lot of yeah. real estate agents would love to use this. Yeah, we're certainly hearing from them a lot these days. So I appreciate you uh, you reaching out, and we're you know. Thrilled to be on your uh, on your site. I think Prasad and I have wanted to do that for a long time. So we appreciate you uh, reaching out to us. All right, all right. The avatar looks perfect for real estate agents and other people who want to do a live 360 walkthrough of their property. But it does have a couple of disadvantages. First, there's cost. It costs like 500 to 600 a month, which for many real estate agents is a reasonable price to be able to give a live walkthrough for a whole month to as many clients as they want. Now, uh, for other agents though, it might be a little pricey. So that's for you to decide. Now, the other issue is time. So with Avatar, the agent has to physically be present at the property in order to give a walkthrough of the property. So they have to do that not just once, but every time they do a walkthrough for every client. Now, this is 
no worse than an actual walkthrough where they actually accompany their clients anyway. But there are some situations where, for example, you as the agent, you want to be able to give a walkthrough, a live walkthrough, without having to visit the property yourself. Now, in my next video, I'm gonna show you a different system. It's totally different. And number one, it costs less. And number two, uh, it will let you do a live walkthrough repeatedly without having to visit the property. So you can do it remotely. So don't miss it. Hit subscribe and I'll see you in 360.